Now getting up over here is a little challenging because you can see how jagged these hills can be. Look at that. And they get even tinier as you approach up. So one slip, you got to be really, really careful. But look at that beauty as well. Look at that. Look at that formation. Look at those, those lines, those deep colors. Wow. So I was caught up by uh, security. He said I couldn't go up. Safety w issue. And I get it. I get it. I was actually going to show you the view from right on top. Um, but yeah, it's morning, guys. 7 a.m. You hear the birds chirping. Hardly any folks out. You see the sun rising out from there. Still a cool, crisp wind. I'd say it's about 66. Good morning. Finally popped out of the uh, clouds. Look at that. Lodges against the uh, mountain background. That's beautiful. Only thing I gotta say is you can hear the traffic. That's because we're right next to the highway. But I think the, that was intentional so as to uh, check off the ease of accessibility. Um, otherwise, it'd be pretty cool not hearing some of that traffic noise. But it's minimal. It's a highway. Um, but yeah. And hey, didn't see any critters last night, so that's a good sign. Good morning. My favorite coffee, an espresso, none other. Good job, guys. So it's daytime and uh, starting to warm up. You can lose the jacket just a little bit, wear a long sleeve shirt. reach my half point run but you got to see this I wanted to show you how you can see the valley and in between the valley this is where you got the stream or where Hatta is known for is uh, the wadi the wadi stream from the rainfall so that's where they run down you can see the vegetation in the center as well and all the way down it goes and you got to be careful Maybe not around here, but some of these wadis can be really, really powerful. So yeah, look at that beauty, guys. 
look at the different uh, terrain colors you see in between these cliffs. Just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Wow, guys, just had to take a video of this. Look at that. Isn't that a beauty? Wow. You got sheep. Just to get an idea where we are, we're right behind the Hatta, the famous Hatta sign, right there. All right, guys, back at base. And I gotta tell you, that was an exciting run. You saw that. Obviously, I just couldn't uh, record the entire thing, but it was really nice. They made the trails really easy, mocked around. There's also trails specifically for mountain bikes as well. Uh, but it was a beautiful, beautiful run back at base. And uh, let's check out to see uh, what more activities I could uh, do out over here. Want to also let you guys know that if you notice, well, I noticed the vegetation out over here on the property. So it's the vegetation, the plants out over here have been uh, intentionally planted and taken care of. So you've got entire irrigation system that's keeping these uh, wonderful vegetation out on the property alive. You want some chips? Okay, so just found the first activity for today. And Nova's gonna get onto uh, her first pony. What do we got? Which pony you want, Fishy? Yeah. There we go. Her first pony. Baby girl's getting her first ride, pony ride. There we go. What is it, girlfriend? Not bad for 25 bucks. Pretty good. She's doing pretty good. Well balanced. She did pretty well. The first time on a pony, she did pretty, pretty well holding the tag, so man. Nice, very happy. 30 for 15 minutes, a little pricey, but it is what it is. You ready, Nova? Yeah, girl. There she goes. Hey, Nova. Hi. So, getting a fruit juice. There you go. Whole array of fruits right here. Fresh juices. You see that mango right in there. So it's past 11. It seems uh, things have picked up out over here. A lot of folks. Uh, either from the hotel premises or from outside just coming in and doing the activities. There you go, there's that mango. Taking a closer look in daytime now. 
that's a uh, date plantation with those trees. So I got myself one of these nifty hats. I uh, couldn't resist, but um, as you can see, we got our bags all packed, just waiting for the buggy to come around uh, and get us down. But we had a great time, awesome day and night. It's about 12 p.m. and we're gonna be heading out to another spot, the Hatta Dam. And uh, we're gonna see what's up with that dam. Uh, it was closed the last time we were around, but uh, let's just see what changes and developments have, uh, have, have occurred from there. So stay tuned. Hangover. That's it all packed and ready to go. One night of overnight parking and look at the, the dirt on your windscreen. All right, slight change in plan, guys. Um, had to stop by. This was like six minutes away on the way. Wanted to check out this iconic place. Uh, let me fill you in. Let's get in and see what's up. Cottage style uh, accommodation. There's a cafe restaurant overlooking the pool and the, uh, the mountains. Now the interesting thing about this property is it's a very iconic hotel out here in Hatta and um, this is the uh, Fort Hatta Hotel and uh, very very iconic it's, it's OG in the house for sure built in 1982 that's 40 years 1982 when this place wasn't even known for what it is right now it's a getaway from Dubai 40 years in and still looking good It's lunch out over here, salad. Breathtaking view right out there. I mean, still classy guys, 40 years on. Definitely renovated, but it's got that classy vibe. I guess someone wants the bed do shot. All right, so stop that there, cafe. Here, Nova. And I've seen, and I'm gonna get the Black Forest. That's like old school Dubai style. All right, guys, I am here. Here we go, the Black Forest, the star. Wow. Just like any five star hotel out in Dubai would prepare this dessert. The classic black forest. Maybe it's my sentimental uh, feelings coming in play, but I hit the spot. 
Guys, another thing I want to mention, the pricing out over here. We got about two salads and a pizza, and it came less than half the price you would pay out in Dubai. Um, my salad was 45 dirhams. That would be easy, 120 dirhams at a five-star hotel. And with my cake, you get a cappuccino. That's 35 dirhams. You get your cake, your pastry, and you get a cappuccino. I mean, where do you see, where do you see that? It's amazing. It's, it's, uh, it's refreshing in terms of the pricing. Where we are right now is pretty much the rest area before you get up to the dam, all these cafes. So we gotta go up basically, right up there. And that's a beautiful portrait right there. Baba Zayed on the left. And Sheikh Maktoum on the right. All right, guys, so this is it. Finally parked, got out uh, up over here, and uh, we're right at the uh, Hatta Dam. And uh, before I show you the main event, when we got back over there, that happens to be the new logo or the first logo for Hatta. So if you see that around, you can see my cap. That's, uh, that's the iconic Hatta logo. And when you come up the road, you're pretty much above this road or bridge. It's a narrow road. You can park your car right over here, as we did, or park it down there and make your way up via stairways. And now they've actually got bike lanes that have been constructed, so they're not really ready yet, so you can come up with your bikes. But as uh, promised, the main event is the dam itself. Look at that, look at that. Look at that blue water that glistening uh, water. Look at the mountains. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. And that is just majestic. We've got boat rides planned out, kayaking. We've got the paddle boats. And uh, this is it. This is the infrastructure that they built out of here get folks out, no excuses whatnot, even got public buses coming out, but that's beautiful. We're coming up, we've seen that. Look at that. And that water, FYI, the dam water, the reservoir that's over here, the source of that is the Gulf of Oman, all right? That's connected to the Arabians. That's coming out from the east side. That's the source. But yeah, this, uh, this is it. This is, uh, this is the Hunter Dam. I love those peaks. Why do you want to just buy a whiteboard? This is Right there? I want to buy there. Maybe next time. Okay. Okay. 
Prma, prma. That's where the wadi would come through. Look at that. Look at nature carving its way through. So, did a U-turn on the uh, Hatta Dubai uh, road. Got onto the other side, you'll see a lot of these street vendors, food vendors local produce so gonna get some out over here when you see the golden sand on your way this is primarily where all the tourists are taken uh, for a desert safari you see a lot of the quad bikes going on a lot of the tour companies as you can see that desert looks really really beautiful with that sand color golden brown You got some sweet potatoes from the from UAE. There's bananas on the right from Oman. A lot of these local produce. Okay, so making a pit stop over here. Basically, gonna get myself one of those uh, desert floor tents mats been wanting to get that for a long time you do not get them in Dubai you got to come out to these places uh, out in the desert going to Hatta or Fujairah or whatnot and so I stopped by one of these guys to get this he's my mom he's my man How are you? this is the guy for the good discount over here all right so you know carpet, where to come carpet. there you go this one's a lot. so I got myself one of these basically Arabic mat and that full so this is one of the new things that's coming out you got you can sit back relax and there you go comes with a table with a cushion all in at 450 dirhams so yeah they got a whole variety of things out of here so pack that in I'm looking forward to being out in the desert And that's about it guys, it's 7 p.m. back in Dubai, back here home. Yeah, a comfortable drive back, it was beautiful, just seeing sunset. That's, that's just something really amazing. Um, but yeah, um, all in all, got the visa renewed, made a trip out of it uh, in Hatta, stayed at the resort, uh, the desert resort, so to speak, or campsite. And uh, along the way back, picked myself up uh, one of those, uh, you know, um, Arabic uh, desert, couches slash mat always wanted one of those so i'm gonna actually test it out either i'm at the beach or at the desert and picked up some uh fruits along the way so all in all loved just doing something traditional and, and local and just being part of uh, part of nature so that was really cool so hopefully you guys enjoyed my video thank you for your time don't forget to like subscribe and share and I hope to bring you guys some more exciting videos uh, in the near future. Shamo Shamo, your boy Elvis Rods. <laughs>